I really enjoyed Ghostbusters Afterlife. It felt like a beautiful conclusion to the classic series I grew up adoring, and a fantastic setup for the franchise's future. However, the trailer for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire didn't quite ignite my anticipation for the upcoming film. Now that I've seen Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, was my initial lack of excitement justified, or did the film exceed my expectations? Let's talk about it. For the first time in New York history, a room full of people froze to death in July. If it's an unimaginable evil, it's the power to kill by fear itself. Like, literally scared to death? Imagine this, the Spangler family returning to the iconic New York City firehouse, teaming up with both old and new Ghostbusters to combat an ancient evil threatening to freeze the world. Sounds thrilling, doesn't it? What did I enjoy about the movie? Well, the fresh Ghostbusters lore breathed new life into the franchise, setting the stage for future adventures. And let's not forget Paul Rudd. His performance brought an extra spark to the film that I truly appreciated. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is a perfect choice for a family movie night. Witnessing families come together at the theater for this flick was truly heartwarming. On the flip side, the movie leaned heavily on nostalgic references, making it feel a bit dragged out in the middle. Bill Murray's appearance felt a bit forced and the abundance of subplots left me feeling slightly overwhelmed. Simplifying the storyline could have streamlined the experience. While the villain had potential, the execution fell short and the movie lacked the gritty charm of the original Ghostbusters that many of us hold dear. In summary, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire falls somewhere in the middle for me. It's a decent family outing, but may not fully satisfy diehard Ghostbuster fans. If you're a casual viewer, waiting for a streaming release might be the better choice. Have you seen the movie or are you planning to? Share your thoughts in the comments below because your voice matters. If you enjoyed this review, show some love by hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, and sharing with some of your friends. It would really mean a lot to me. That's all for today, friends. This is Troy Hill from Troy Hill Talks, signing off until next time. Take care and stay awesome.